What's up trainers? We are back once again and it is time now to continue on our Let's Go Adventure. And we're going to check out what Pokemon Road has in store for us today. And again, why is my character moving when I'm not even so much as touching the joystick? But uh, before we get to Pokemon Road though, we have a bit of a problem. As you can see, we've got this giant Snorlax blocking the way here. Our task, should we accept it, and we have no choice but to accept it, is to get rid of it. How do we do that? By playing the Poke Flute to wake it up. Mr. Fuji, there's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the Poke Food. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. Yeah, I know that. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. It can be pretty dangerous. Please help it calm down by battling with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it just like any other Pokemon. So yes, this is an exception of a Pokemon yeah, this is one of the few Pokemon you will actually have to battle in this game before you can actually catch it. It's, this thing's at level 34, and it is a tank. So you're going to want to knock it out, out quick. And plus, as you can see from this timer here, you only have 5 minutes to knock it out and then catch it. Why would you use the alarm when you already put me to sleep? Uh, do we have any awakenings to use on Pikachu? We do not. Alright, uh... Well, we do have a Charmeleon and those size with Toss, so... Get on out here. And use Lick. And another Seismic Toss should finish it. Alright. Now that it's been knocked out, we can go ahead and catch this thing. I right, got 16 Ultra Balls. Aw, oh, come on, Snorlax. You're not even that fast. Yeah, Snorlax is one of the bulkiest and also one of the heaviest Pokemon around. In fact, actually, probably the heaviest. And Snorlax is caught. Now, before we go to Pokemon Road, I gotta go to the uh, Pokemon Center here and heal. Check out our new Snorlax here. So level 34. 
You know that. Look at that HP. Yawn, lick, headbutt, and rest. So yeah, Snorlax is definitely what you'd call a tanky Pokemon. Now, we gotta go in here first and get some healing items. Uh, let's get some full heals. Uh, what else can I buy? Oh, we can get super lures now. Alright. Let's buy ten of those. A few ultra balls. Oh, no. Not that. We used up all our hyper potions, so let's get 20 of those. And while we're at it, how about some more revives? Because uh, we are running low. And there goes all our money. Probably should have done all that purchasing off screen, but it is what it is. But nonetheless, we can now make our way to Pokemon Road. Oh, but first, there's a Dodrio, a Doduo over here that I want to catch. Come on, Dojo. Don't you want to play nice? Thank you. Alright, we have some trainers up here, but I will deal with them later. Okay, so we'll deal with those trainers there later, because I promised you folks Pokemon Road, and so far we're about we're close to 10 minutes in and we haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to go through this gate here. And this here, well actually first we're going to fight this trainer.
Camper Ruben. He's sending out his Psyduck. Another side up. And we get two great balls for our efforts. And we have a super potion. And now, okay, oh, actually not quite yet. There's another item over here. Three great balls. And now, welcome to Pokemon Road. In the older games, this would be Cycling Road. And you would need a bicycle to get through here. However, since there's no bike in this game, they it's renamed Pokemon Road. Okay, Florian. Yeah, there are some trainers here that will have the Eevee evolution on them. This person here has Vaporeon, which of course is the water type Eevee evolution in this game. With a water stone, of course. Okay, there's the person that has Jolteon, and there's the one that's got Flareon. Jolteon's using its quick attack. Pin Missile. Level 32 for Venomoth. And here's the one with Flareon. Thunderbolt should finish you. And 
And Pikachu should go to level 38 here. And it did. Nice. Level 35 for Pidgeotto. Another super lure. Okay, there's another item over here. Three great balls. Speaking of super lures, let's go ahead and spray one on here. And we'll see what happens. See if any, see if any rare Pokemon comes up. And there's another Go Duo. And here's Rapidash. Rapidash, of course, is the evolved form of Ponyta. Oh, come on, Rapidash. I want to catch you. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, come on! Get in the ball, Rapidus! Oh my god! Thank you! My god, that thing did not want to cooperate. <sighs> All right, I think we'll stop here for now. We'll continue exploring Pokemon Road in the next video.